I made my own Real Steel short film in Unreal Engine in just one week. Here's how I did it. Before we get into it, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. I make a lot of short films and I also release behind the scenes stuff. So if you like that kind of thing, subscribe, like, and comment some ideas of other content you want to see. Also, make sure to watch to the end of the video. I've got a little surprise there, a little teaser for things to come. You're definitely going to want to see it. All right. Let's get into it. First off, we're gonna get some models. Links to the models in the description. They're a bit flat though, so let's retouch to them in Substance Paint and give them more of that photo real look. I'm gonna rig them in Mixmo. It's a free software, really easy to use, and it's pretty good at rigging. Next up is making your environment. It can be any environment if you want. It could be the zoo, the underground, or the RBC stadium. I personally went with the zoo. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Next up is mocap. So first you've got to block out your mocap and then record it. I personally use Rococo. Not sponsored, by the way, but Rococo, if you like what you see, you like the shorts I'm making, you know, call me. Rococo, please, please sponsor me. The strikes are killing me. Please, if you do, I'll love you forever. Okay, bye. I don't know what the f that was. Anyway, so yeah, here's some footage of me recording the mocap. Having a great time, beating up my demons, past trauma, you know, the works. And now at this point, things were going really well, really smoothly, we were on track. I've got my environment, I've got my characters, they're all textured, they're rigged. I've got my mocap. Well, yeah, that was the problem. Something happened with the mocap. I'll just, just, just roll the tape. It, it, was, it, was, it was a painful time. It all got corrupted. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's all gone. You watch back and it's all just inverted. The arms are like this and you're going to have to re-record it all. However, this time, it's not just going to be me. So yeah, next time around I grabbed my brother, slapped him in a mocap suit and basically beat the hell out of him for an hour. Once all the mocap was re-recorded, we're now able to bring it into Blender, retarget onto our models and then bring those models into Unreal Engine. Add some characters for the crowd using Mixamo's huge library of characters and free mocap by the way. They look uh, pretty bad <laughs> close up, but we're just going to be using them fill out the background and they're going to be out of focus and disguised by motion blur most of the time. Then we're going to add some sparks and smoke for that added cinematic look. Once we've got all our shots lined up, we're going to hit render, do some sound design, color correction, and now you've got yourself an awesome some robot boxing match. And there you have it. Now, could this be better? Well, the short answer is yes, but I did this in a week. The challenge was to do it in a week. So the fact I was able to create something at this caliber with a coherent story in that amount of time, I'm pretty proud of that. If you enjoyed this video, punch the like button, punch the subscribe button and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Do you like this kind of behind the scenes footage or do you just prefer the kind of short? I'm interested to hear what you guys think. And as I said at the beginning of the video, those of you that have stayed to the end, got a little surprise for you. Please enjoy this teaser for the next short on its way. I've come for you. So you.